quick video here. When disconnecting the battery to reset the computer in the car, uh, one of the side effects is losing all your memories in your car stereo. You know, not just the channels, but you know, all your audio settings. And in this case, this Pioneer has you know five band equalizer setting and a bunch of other settings that I need to set very strategically to make the stock um, Mach 460 sound system you know sound decent. So I hate resetting all that. So I'm going to modify the memory wire going to the car stereo. Hopefully this works. I mean, it will work. Just I don't know how, how long it will uh, hold the memory with the battery off. But basically what this is, is this is going to come from the 12 volt constant power from the car, go through a diode. It's going to charge this capacitor, of course, so the other leg will be ground. And then the output, you know, from the capacitor is going to go into the memory wire into the radio. And what this will do is, when you disconnect the power, the battery, um, this will not drain right away. This will actually hold, be like, you know, 12 volts that will be feeding the memory wire to the radio. And then uh, because of the diode, it will not back feed to the rest of the car and just discharge the capacitor instantly. The capacitor is just going to discharge as however much current it draws, you know, normally just to hold the memory. It shouldn't be that much. So. I don't know if this is going to hold the memory for a minute. It might hold the memory for 30 minutes. I just want it to hold the memory long enough to take the battery, uh, disconnect it for a few minutes, you know, and discharge the rest of the system in the car to clear the car computer, you know, which is something I haven't been doing because I don't like uh, losing the <laughs> memory in the radio. But as you uh, program, you know, add little changes and stuff to the car, you know, sensors and recalibrate it, you know. In binary editor, you're supposed to be clearing the computer, so you're deleting all the saved um, short-term, long-term fuel cuts and things like that. Well, I haven't been doing that, so I'm gonna go stick this in, and uh, we'll see how that works. Okay, hope this is picking up the audio. Okay, uh, kind of windy because I have that shop cooler, my little cooler with my misters blowing air. It's 110 plus out right now, but it's. Uh, it would be way too hot to sit in this car out here. I didn't have that blowing, so it's just blowing a mist of water here, so it's not hot in here. Uh, so 11.9 volts, it's been dropping a little bit in here. Oh, I'm also going to lose uh, about 7 tenths of a volt across that diode, so that's normal. So the car is probably at more like 12.6 volts, a little over 12 volts. It went on the diode, some drop 0.3 volts, some drop 0.7, depending on silicone or germanium or whatever. Most are silicone. So I'm going to go disconnect the battery now. This is reading the power coming after the diode into the capacitor and then back to the memory wire on the radio. I'm going to go disconnect the battery and then see uh, how that holds. It might only hold for seconds, but that would only be if this radio really leaks a lot of current, which I highly doubt. I anticipate a 3300 microfarad capacitor like that to hold for minutes, if not a lot longer. So let's go try that battery. Batteries just connected. I'll turn on the headlights. Well, it's definitely dropping voltage. Dropping quicker than I thought. What I just did right there would be enough to clear the memory on a computer, however. So let's uh, just stick that back on enough. See if uh, the memory held. There's my channel. Yeah, so it held, even though it dropped down to you know like six or seven volts. Wow, I was surprised that drained down so quick. It also could be because that well, no, capacitor is 50 volts, so it's not like a crazy high capacitor. Sometimes the working voltage is like way higher than what you're using, you know, it you might not get the proper characteristics of the capacitor, but no, it's normal to have a, at least double the working voltage, so 50 for a 12 volt system, that's that's good, so so it works, I just won't be able to have the battery disconnected for probably more than half a minute, that's long enough to uh, pull the battery, drain down the system with your lights, you know, do something, hit the brake pedal, whatever, that, that'll discharge the capacitors in your uh, engine computer.
and then and uh, that'll that'll clear your computer for you without um, losing memory in your radio. So pretty simple mod. I'm glad I tested that because it's going to work to clear the computer when I want to just clear the computer. But when I want to disconnect the battery to do something on the engine, obviously that's going to drain and not hold memory. So I just spliced in two more wires. There's another diode in the shrink tube there. That way current can only go one way. I'm going to keep these stashed back here. I'm going to try to put them out here where I can reach behind the carpet or something and get them. But I'm going to be able to connect one of my small 12 volt batteries to this and uh, what it'll do is it'll it's after you know the first diode so it will not back feed to the car system I'm gonna be able to uh, grab these wires I'll just keep them tucked back in there they're insulated and be able to tie in you know a separate battery to, to maintain the memory on the car stereo Yet it'll, uh, you know, I'll have the battery disconnected, be safe, you know, working on the car or whatnot. So that'll work. So for, so the resistor or the, <laughs> the diode capacitor, little part of the circuit, will hold uh, the radio when I just want to disconnect the battery long enough to clear the computer, and then uh, I could connect an external battery to, to back up that memory for when I'm doing longer repairs, which is like what I'm doing right now, changing the radiator in the car. So. Out. Yeah, that uh, 12 volt battery, that'll definitely keep the memory. <laughs> okay, it's been a good hour or so. I've had the battery disconnected, and my little battery was down there. I just disconnected it. Tuck the wires back up. Yeah, so it retained the memory. 403, that is the time.